Go search the whole creation and trace the world around. See if any nation, a people can be found. Whose doctrine and behavior is honest, just, and true. Who live like Christ the Savior, who are the faithful few. In love they are united, they serve the Lord with zeal, while others are invited to share the bliss they feel. Their love cannot be mixed with that which leads to sin, nor is it solely fixed on self's beloved kin. The Shaker community based its existence on the pursuit of creating an ultimately perfect society. The Shakers highly valued purity as a central value in their community, just as they valued the practice of celibacy. Celibacy is the practice of abstaining from sexual relations. The Shaker people believed that celibacy was the key to establishing a perfect society, a society that in their eyes has rid itself of sin and established itself as just. The Shaker seed industry was also known for being honest and thus pure. While the industry proved to have great economic success for the Shakers, it was also a working example of the value that the Shakers placed in purity. The third tenet of the Shakers' doctrine instructed that the Shakers must regularly confess their sins, and they believed this would contribute to their ultimate pursuit of perfection through purity. To cheat customers with bad or overpriced products would be a sin, and so the Shakers' industry was founded on honesty. In what ways did the Shakers' desire to achieve purity affect their success and their ultimate downfall? The Shakers' obsession with celibacy through the means of sexual abstinence made it increasingly difficult over time to sustain their community's population. Initially, this worked well, as they were able to espouse an unusual family system that entailed taking in converts and adopted children. However, over time, this conflicted with their ability to gather new members, as a large percentage of recruited Shakers left the group once they were of age. While visiting a Shaker community in 1818, an English Quaker said, People will purchase seeds from the Shakers as they are people perhaps above all others to be depended upon for veracity and strict integrity. One may buy without fear of deception, and the articles are always delivered with the greatest punctuality. In 1836, Charles Crossman printed and published the first Shaker Gardener's Manual. Crossman stated that he created the gardening manual to enable our trading customers to obtain some practical information relative to the raising and management of those valuable kitchen vegetables. Similarly to how celibacy was first rendered successful but then contributed to the rapid downfall of their community, the unwillingness of the Shakers to adjust and transform with the society around them also led to their decline. They relied on old-fashioned methods and ignored the increased accessibility to new technology and machines. Celibacy made the Shakers pure and they practiced celibacy as a means of achieving what they believed to be perfection under God. The reality was that the Shaker society existed on behalf of a contradiction due to its strong belief in celibacy. The Shakers ultimately faced a problem that was simply too large to fix. They built societies that were isolated from the rest of the world, but at the same time relied on the outside world to support their society's population, since they themselves couldn't reproduce. Shakers preached independence. But in actuality, due to their celibate lifestyles, were completely dependent on the outside world to generate new members. This double standard, this disconnect that existed between their ideology and their practice of recruiting new members, ultimately led to the community's downfall. As the world began to focus more on quantity over quality, and thus away from purity, it became difficult for the Shakers to maintain their economic success, as well as their community in general. The Shakers relied on purity through celibacy and seeds as ways to sustain both their values and their economic needs. Although their immutability represented their ardent dedication to their belief system, it hindered their ability to adapt to the modern world and thus led to their demise.